Hello and welcome back to our Dutch Dominion campaign. So, we've got uh, this thing again, card again. Let's just get rid of that because that's just annoying me at this point. And uh, first things first, are you ready to conquer? Ye well, pretty, pretty close. Pretty close to being able to conquer again. So that's what we shall do. Right, where is my transport fleet? Uh, is this him? No. Transports, transports, transports. Boost Indie Flute. You're over here for some reason. Okay, well, go and pick me up an army, and we're gonna go after the Aztecs again. Because why wouldn't we go after the Aztecs? They're silly people, and uh, we need to uh, murder them. We're building a spy network on Portugal. That's good. We are improving relations with subjects, and we have one free guy. That's exactly where we want to be. Um, burgers, I would like to offer you a privilege. No, no, privilege of favor. We can do that. One month. Uh, greater nobles, we can do that now. Although, I'd rather just take, um, take some manpower from you, I guess. And then the lesser nobles, we will take from you. Uh, I guess political support might work. Um, advisor costs. Advisors are costing us quite a chunk. 1428, and now it's 1230, so that's good. Save a little bit of money there. Uh, no, we're not going to marry you. Go away. States, again, we're not We're not going to make this a state. I don't feel of the need to. I mean, I guess I could, considering I don't plan to, you know, really expand my borders any more than this. So I've got a, a bunch of free state slots. Well, two. But I'm only just going to get more and more as the game goes on. Like, you're going to give me an extra two and an idea group. Um, so, I, I guess we, we probably could do it. And I think at the end of this month, sorry, at the end of this year, we will take admin tech as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to make this a state, Middle Rhineland, because why not? If I was to take this land, I mean, it's not... It's not the best land for us. I mean, I guess we are transporting um, trade upwards from here, and that would help us if we were to expand a little bit here. Um, we would have to fight the Emperor to take this land, because all this is in the Empire, and we no longer are. But it's just Saxony. Like, who cares about Saxony? All right, the fleet's arrived, so let's grab this army, stop you from drilling, and bring this army to uh, Tillingen. You guys just bring him here. And have you state slotted? Yes, you've stated uh, Mexico. It's all great. You need to uh, convert it though. 111 pops in Mexico itself. That is fucking insane. Largest city on the continent. No shit. 22 urban pops. What have I got for urban pops in my capital? 41, okay, so 41 is clearly more. Uh, it is not the largest city on the continent, though. I assume that's going to go to Constantinople. 54, yes. So when I had my Byzantine campaign, the largest city on in Europe was Constantinople, and then the largest city in Asia was actually Nicomedia, which was here. Um, and they were like twin awesome cities. Sweden wants a royal marriage. Have we married? Have we allied Sweden? Yes, we have. So I will accept that. 100 pop in Caligua, or Calic Caliqua, whatever the fuck it's called. Which is great. We have too many military leaders. I'm not bothered by that in the slightest. We will take this, because I don't want to get tapped on uh, <laughs> Diplotech, which I just have been. So there we go. Done. And can we take Diplo-idea, please? Yes, we can. Culture. Culture. Well, oh, expansion. Oh, expansion. But culture, but expansion. Oh, oh, tough choices, tough choices. That's an extra two colonists. Oh, that is so tempting. And core creation cost. But culture, we could just fucking breeze through. I'm gonna go culture. No, no, I can't go culture. I guess we're going expansion. So that was maybe a little bit of a waste of time. Taking the tech. All right, but we got an extra two colonists, and we are going to start 
I mean, I would love to make my way up here. That's that's a given. Um, I suppose I could start colonizing like around uh, Madagascar and take Madagascar for myself. But the problem is, right? Again, I've had this problem before. It's like here. There is gonna be unrest no matter what I do because it's a pain in the ass keeping um, unrest down. So yeah, he's got minus 12.2 right now, but his separatism has already gone down significantly to the point where there is none. Um, where is your separatism? You've only just been uh, taken, so where is your separatism? Separatism 0.3.5. When did we, we... We only stole that a little while ago. You have no separatism whatsoever. I don't understand what the fuck is going on. I have no fucking clue. Right, well, Diplo, we might as well take the tech. A little bit of extra trade efficiency and all that good stuff. And I'm going to focus myself on admin because we've got ideas to take. Um, that is a little bit annoying that I couldn't take culture, but I guess it's also okay. We, we can have both, right? And where do we want to colonize now? Because we could do Colonial South Eastern America. That seems like a good idea. Um, start off in Malvilla. Or we could do a bit of um, Mississippi here. Um, which one do we do? Do we do Charleston? Or do we do Mississippi? I mean, we could do the plains as well, but they don't seem as useful. Maybe I'll do this province here, just so that these guys don't colonize it. And we'll do this province here, and we will take you away, and we will start colonizing this one here. We'll do all three at once. That seems like a fantastic idea. There's no problem whatsoever with that idea. Um, Bermuda, are you in unrest difficulties? Not really. No, you, you should be fine. Appropriated church land, we could auction it for 2100, or we could get 100 stability points. What is our current stability situation? 62. You know what? I want that money, because I need to build myself some bloody universities. That That's the big issue for me right now, is lack of universities. So, if they're cheap, we're going to do them. And if we can do these ones, yeah, London can have one. Can we do world famous ones? One in Flindeliloy. Yeah, let's do Flindeliloy. Um, and that's going to help out our uh, stuff there quite significantly. Art corporations, if you're cheap, we'll do it. Nederstick can have one. And we're out of money. Well, we're not out of money, but we don't have the money to be able to do it again. And our army has arrived, so let's move into position, and we're going to go and murder the Aztecs. Now that Tailingen actually has a decent income, like, it's it's not bad at all. I'm thinking we just go ham and take her out as much as we can. Fucking debt for Kirkovan, Jesus. Tailingen's good for debt, you're good for debt. Good, good. Good, and you have a little bit of debt, so we'll pay that off. And we're down to 16 ducats. Pretty uh, crazy how fast you can run through your ducats when you're uh, not paying all that much attention. So do we go after uh, do we go after Sin Sun San, or do we go after the Aztecs? Hmm, that is the question. You know what? I'm thinking Sin Sun San. We'll go after them first because that will cut off, like, then we have, like, more options for attacking, right? That's that's my, my thoughts on the matter. And that's a shame that our guy has died, because he was really good. Um, so we'll go with Franz Willem van der Poel, and we will attack this guy, Colonial Conquest, and watch as my Colonial Nation builds several hundred thousand fucking dudes that are totally unnecessary. Let's go strongly encourage looting. I had uh, someone say that, why are you doing that? You're just uh, ruining the development of the places. Uh, but my thoughts on that matter is that um, I want these 
provinces to be as easy to control for my colonial nation as possible, and uh, killing as many people as possible is the way to go about that, in my personal opinion. It might not be the most elite strategy ever, but it's the one I'm going to go with. So, I'm going to have you move here, eventually. There we go. And you're going to go murder this. We can take tech, no thank you. And there's not a whole lot of money we're going to get from this anyway, no matter how much... God damn, look at the losses on their side. What tech are you on? You are on tech 18. We are on like 28 or something stupid like that. Also, I'll drop you guys and the cannons can go help with the siege. And by help, I mean completely take over. It's not exactly the most difficult war I've ever been in. Let's, uh, let's be quite honest there. Take out the uh, troops, we don't need them there. Education level fair, is that going up or down? I would like to check that real quick. It's going down, but I'm building universities, so it should bounce right back. Alright, that's gonna fall soon. What have you got building-wise? Actually quite a lot, including a mine, rural infrastructure, all that good shit. And I don't think anything just got destroyed, so yay. And we're going to take all of it, and we're going to piece you the fuck out for all of your money. And it all gets transferred to Telingen. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go straight after the next guy, right? Because I, I don't feel like this is too much of a, an issue for, um, for Telingen to... Uh, deal with. It's not a whole lot of pop. It's not a whole lot of overextension. You're gonna be just fine Is my thoughts on that I can check that out because I don't think you'll have gotten rid of your guys yet. So Talingen 710 ducats a month That's pretty good uh, Expenses on your troops four ducats, okay And just quickly declare war because why not? And you know what? Split you into armies of about six. And then there, 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 there. Something like that sounds about right. Spread out, carpet siege, mortify the Aztecs. The more we kill, the better. Yeah, and my, uh, he's building up his noble levy again. Like I said, I really hope that in the future there'll be a way to say to your uh, colonies, no, you don't need to join the war, I've got this. Interesting freeze, but it's, uh, it's gone now, so who cares. Um, new idea, yeah, we'll take that, considering we're so far ahead of time. Uh, that's pretty good. direction please thank you uh, the Aztecs are there killing some levy and you're not trying to help I guess you are a low morale so maybe in the next turn of the month you will be able to go and help unhappy merchants is never something I like to see yeah apparently I'm why is it almost fully green if you've got low morale Oh, and actually, you joined the war as well. I guess you're allied to the Aztecs. Probably should have made you a co-belligerent then, shouldn't I? And you should be killed by these guys at some point soon, hopefully. That'd be uh, rather nice of you to die, if that's, if that's not too much to ask. You go and help. Siege of that place is over. We've just got one siege left to do and it'll be 100% because they haven't managed to siege a single one of my provinces. And yes, you are trying to siege that, but you failed and now you're moving off, so there's no hope for you. 100% is... Oh no, I need to get you as well. Forgot about that.
Go, go, go kill this, right? I don't need you to come help me here. I need you to go kill that. Archery versus most suits. Okay, military tech cost or lose tradition. Well, I'm going to go with more tech cost because I am not in need of super much amounts of tech right now. You group up, drop your cannons, move away. You drop these dudes. You drop these guys. Alright, so just the cannons need to go and help out. None of the rest is uh, actually all that necessary. Right. So we do have the chance of uprisings, so I will need to go up here after... Actually, just do it right now, to be honest. Uh, so that we can get you sieged, and we'll just give you as much of this as we can. I mean, maybe we'll be able to take absolutely everything. That would be the best case scenario. Their army is dead. We're at 100%. Why is your morale so fucking low? Did you, like, go bankrupt or something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just siege. Or, sorry, steal as much as you can. I mean, you can't take everything, which is interesting. Let's go with you and just separate piece you for your money and your land. And then if we have Diplomat, we'll get one now. And I guess just take as much as possible. Try and stay in state boundaries. Yeah, I can't take everything. But we've cut them off from the coast. That's that's gonna be fine. How much money do you actually have? In interesting. I can get 100 ducats or I can get 187 ducats. Hmm. Well, that's good. You'll be uh, murdered in short order. And all of that goes to Tailingen as well. We need to go and kill the natives up here before they rise up. Alright, I'll just check Tailingen once more. Nine ducats, four ducats. Is it going to stay at four ducats, or is it going to go down or higher, or what? What's the story? Let's give him another month. 102 ducats? Okay, I mean, that's that's unlikely. if we can catch this uh, this little army. Take take this guy. And uh, you are what? Cote de Bergi. No, that's not you. Uh, you are Michael Van Gool. The guest. You're always Michael Van Gool. You lose money, lose admin. Mm, no. Just go go and kill this. Right, that's that's the objective here. You're gonna go up here. You're also gonna go up here. And we're gonna do it the easy way and just land on your face. Oh, and you get the negatives. Get fucked. That's how we roll. Alright, lovely. Well, that's taken care of. There's just a tiny little bit of Aztec left. We'll be able to deal with them uh, in short order. Education level has gone back up again. I like it. And we are going to claim just any Portuguese province. It doesn't matter which one. We could divorce our spouse. We get a noble of the Van Glimes family. You're 46, so I'm actually considering doing this. Sweden won't like me. That's fine. 433, Hendrik. Hendrik Van Glimes? I'm okay with that. I don't know really the, uh, the mechanics behind uh, divorcing somebody to get an heir. I mean, I, I'm not sure how, the, uh, how that works out. But, I mean, I guess it works. Who am I to complain? Right, you just uh, murder some more natives. Lovely, and murder some more natives. And get your ass over. No, no, I guess that didn't work. Go and get this guy. What was that for? Right. 
I, so I had something like this before, a few episodes ago, maybe like 10 episodes ago, where I just got some random negative stability. Um, and I asked somebody in the comments, or I asked the people in the comments to tell me what the story was, why I got that, because I didn't know why. And uh, people had watched it, I got a comment saying he'd watched it through like four or five times, and he had no fucking clue uh, what, what that was all about, why I got that uh, stability loss event. And again, I've just got another one, and I see no reason for it. So, yeah, thanks, game. You bastard. Anyway, we got money again. Um, I'm thinking we help out Kirkovan. He's got a trade wharf, that's good. But now all of his provinces need to have fishing ports. They almost all do. And you know what? I think they probably need the trade wharfs as well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be nice and give you one of those, and then as many commune. Oh, no, no shit. Eh, fuck it. Why not? Uh, as many of those as you can get as well. 82 ducats left. That's totally fine. All right, you need to sit in a province that you can stand in without problems. I guess it's just the capital. So yeah, go, go to the capital. And then we can just ignore you for a bit. Should we go to war with Portugal now or later? That is the question. Colonial Peru, we've also got the option of uh, going after. We could take the Galapagos Islands, which is part of Colonial Colombia. So that's an option. We also haven't uh, colonized Caicos for them. I'm not sure if they will. Uh, colonized Caicos. So we are married, sorry, we are allied with Austria, so I will accept the marriage. And I might re get my alliance, oh sorry, my marriage with Sweden. Yeah, that's. Oh no, we still have it. Uh, okay, so I just clicked a button and got a free air for no reason, but okay, that's fine. If that's what happened, that's what happened. Anyway, I'm going to take a short break here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.